Hello and welcome back fellow PowerShell engineers. We are now going to talk about how to connect to an API with PowerShell. Now, if you're not familiar with APIs, it's not a problem. PowerShell, as always, makes everything very, very easy. Uh, despite being verbose, as some people might say, but it does make it very easy to connect to an API and we're definitely going to have fun with it right now. So an API is an application programming interface and uh, it is basically a set of rules and protocols that allows different software systems to communicate with each other. So in other words, an API is a way for different applications to interact, pass data back and forth with each other. And oftentimes this data is delivered in a JSON format, which we are familiar with earlier in this course or my book, if you follow along in the book as well. And uh, that would be JavaScript object notation is just sort of a standardized way of passing the data back and forth. So you've got your data on a SQL server, let's say, and maybe in the cloud, maybe a Microsoft SQL server, Oracle SQL server, whatever. Uh, you don't really want to pass out direct access to that. Maybe there's some tables of data you don't want just anyone having access to. And so that data, but there is data that you don't mind being public at all. You know, there's uh, data for weather, uh, you know, sports data, all sorts of stuff out there. It's like, all right, yeah, we can make this public facing. Um, so we, we want to give an easy way for other applications to connect to that. And we're going to get into this in a sec, but I've got a really great example from K-12 where we use this uh, uh, in the school systems where there's a system called Clever. And what Clever does is says, hey, we'll just be kind of your conduit uh, to connect to all the different curriculum things. So you've got a science curriculum, a math curriculum, all these different tools out there that have all these different curriculum. And we're just going to be a conduit to that. We'll figure out how to connect to all those APIs. So you, all you have to do as a school is connect to our single API uh, with your student information system, so your student database. So that will pick up all the classes, put them into Clever, and then Clever uses APIs connections to uh, connect out all the different curriculum things right so very very cool setup i mean we use that for probably you know tens of uh curriculum things to get that going so definitely pretty cool but before you guys are tired of hearing me yakking about apis but again super important i think as systems engineers or anybody interested in uh powershell uh to just know about them so every api when you connect to it is going to have a url and APIs are typically accessed through HTTPS. So let's go ahead and do our API URL that we want to connect to. And what we're going to do is connect to a Chuck Norris joke website, api.chucknorris.io, jokes, random. Let's just get a random joke. Now, what we're going to do is set a response variable and we're going to use the invoke rest method. URI, API URL. And we'll say the method is just get because we're getting data. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's take a look at our response. Right. So we've got. <laughs> that's just that's just the joke in soviet russia chuck norris still kicks your ass that's the joke very good and then we've got an icon url there uh you know we could go back and take a look at our invoke uh web request earlier how we download that we could use that to download um so yeah that's pretty cool uh we've got our data set there uh looks like if we dig into the response too again it's an object um, we can take a look at the categories. Nope, nothing. Oh, interesting. Category is not even a zero. Nope, nothing in there actually. So that's just an empty field. Uh, but you know, we can get at our other data there. If say, if we wanted that URL, we want to do invoke web request to download that, uh, icon URL. Obviously we can get it just like we could, any other uh, way that you've seen. So really what you might want to do is you really just want the joke itself, right? So you could say it, 
set this to a joke variable and we want to get the response, right? Response value, I should say. So we do the value. So now we've got joke and there you go. Now you can tell a joke. Uh, you could export that out however you'd like. Definitely pretty cool, pretty valuable stuff to be able to connect out to this. Um, of course, this is just a fun one, but you can think of uh, other useful data, uh, that really useful data that might be fun to connect to. You know, weather data, stock data, uh, all sorts of things. You know, if you're into cryptocurrency, connecting to that to get uh, uh, those values or even conduct trades, you can do actions with connecting to the APIs. So I don't want to go too deep into that. You can make a whole course on how to connect to APIs and uh, with PowerShell. But just know that the invoke REST method is how you could typically do that. And uh, there's also um, uh, ways to do it where you supply it parameters uh, the same way you would, uh, just kind of like a hash table. And uh, you can definitely look up how to do that where you can start getting into really complex things where you're supplying a ton of things to get complex responses. But I just want to go over it in a very basic sense now to so show you knew how to do it. So that's about it for this lesson. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one.